welcome to my channel. Today we're going to go over this look today. Um, <clears throat> I am <clears throat> not a beauty guru. I have just started my YouTube channel and I wanted to try to get out of my comfort zone. I'm usually the person who wears the basic colors and not the colorful ones. So I definitely wanted to try something new to show y'all that I can do beauty guru stuff too. Um, but if you're interested in how an everyday girl does her makeup, um, well, on a weekly basis, uh, please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to try to do looks like this, but I also want to show you how you can take tips from beauty gurus and apply them to your own makeup routine and still not look like you're caked on and all this stuff. So, um, if you're interested in all that, subscribe and I will see you every Thursday. <laughs> Friday-ish. And let's get into the video. Okay, so for this look, we are going to start with a primer. I have the e.l.f. Blemish Control Face Primer. Um, this one, I, I got it because I have a lot of redness in my face, as you can see. So I wanted to get the green to try to even all it out. So... Because I have so much red all around my face, I just put it all over and then put more where I have problem spots. So, and then I let it sit. So, oh, it's so gross. Probably should put on a moisturizer first um, before I started, but it's okay. So, the next thing I do I usually oh, I can't find it so I usually put an eyeshadow primer but concealer just I just do a little dot another dot and then I do a little bit down here too okay and then I get my handy dandy little mini blender it's got powder on it but it's okay so I just blend blend I look really green today be careful okay so I let the primer and the concealer just sit for a second and while they sit I do my brows. Uh, I have the what's it called? The BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Waterproof Brow Pomade. It is waterproof. It's in the shade Brunette. I've had this for a really long time. I need a new one. Um, but it works really good. I've had it for about six months, I think. Um but if it gets dry out, I do have this, what is this, a beauty oil, it's facial oil, but um, I found out that if I just dip the tip of my brow brush into it and then put it in the pomade, it like moisturizes it and it gets really good pigment again. Like I said, I've had this for a while. <laughs> I just follow my natural brow. I don't do the whole beauty guru thing. It just doesn't look good on my face. So I don't do it. But it's really up to you how you do your brows. So I follow the bottom first. And then I take a brush and I just feather up the beginning of the brow just to make it look more natural. Down around that way. And then Okay, see? Pretty simple. 
we could use a little bit more filler. You know, it's trial and error with makeup sometimes, so. And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do the second eyebrow and I'll be right back, okay? So as you can tell, this brow isn't as clean as this brow. My left side never is as clean. So what I do to fix that, I just take a little bit of concealer. Look at my mirror so I can see real good. Hang on. And then I just go where I see mistakes. So I have a mistake right here. So just a little bit. And a little bit down. Oh, this is the Fit Me by Maybelline. Maybelline, yeah, yeah, Maybelline concealer in shade Tin Light. This I've had for a long time too, so it's a little needs to be replaced on the top. As you can see, I use mostly drugstore slash cheaper cosmetics just because your girl is on budget and doesn't have time to always buy the really 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 nice high quality makeup I do have some not a lot but so these a little bit cleaner and ta-da so the next thing I do hmm, I'm gonna do foundation or Let's do eyes next. So, foundation now. Let's do foundation. Oh, let's do foundation first. Okay. So, I'm in between two shades that I absolutely love. One's the Milani Conceal and Perfect and Foundation Concealer. This is in shade 2 Natural. It's a little dark for me right now because I'm not tan. This is more like my summer shade. And then I also have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I don't know how to say that in soft beige which is like a little too light so I might just mix the two um but these are these are on the cheaper side too that I got these from the drugstore I believe the wet and wild was around five and the Milani I want to say no more than eight So I have this wet and wild, I want to say it's a kabuki brush, I can't remember what it's called though, um, but it looks like it's a kabuki brush, um, just it's a 99 cent, so, um, I'm going to take just a little bit of Milani and just dab it, and if I need to add a little bit more I can, I'm going to use my mirror so I can see what I'm doing. So with this, I will just go in circles so you don't have brush strokes in your foundation. And if you see spots, just dab. My smaller areas I always dab just because they're quicker to do. I feel like my cheek area I always. So, I'm going to, I have the Airspun Loose Face Powder, which drugstore again. So I think it's, I got it at Walgreens, I think it's like six-ish bucks. 
even though I got Walmart or Target or something so cheap. So I just dab a little bit on my brush and then I knock out the excess so I'm not like... And I just dab to set. Two Eleven all over powder brush. Love it. Okay, so now we're going to take our same concealer in the Maybelline Fit Me in shades light and just do a little highlight. Um, for everyday looks, I usually just do a little bit of highlight under my eyes just to cover dark circles or something. But if I'm doing like a full glam. I'll bring it down, make it like I'm, you're supposed to, but for an everyday look when I don't feel like wearing a whole bunch of makeup, I just do a little bit of highlight, a little contour, not super duper dramatic, because you don't have to be dramatic, <laughs> full glam every single day, just a little bit on the chin, on the cubic's bow, when I'm doing full glam, I'll do a little bit under where I'm going to do contour. Um, just so like brightens it up just a little bit. It's just like because uh, in the full glam you want to be as spotless as you can be, right? So again, I'm gonna take my little eye. It's, I think it's an eye beauty blender. I don't know. I usually keep mine dry, but if you want yours wet, go for it. I just feel like it works better for me personally if it's drier. In the Maybelline, if I heard this correctly, if I researched this correctly, this concealer is a dupe for Linda Mac Cosmetics um, concealers. It works real well. It's one of my favorite concealers. blender and just use some of the excess powder that I got up with my brush for setting the foundation and just set there you can bake you can do whatever but I'll probably just let it sit there for a couple minutes while I contour we do um probably I usually uh, either do it through contour and um the eyeshadow or just do it for one or the other it depends on how I'm feeling if I want to do a cream contour I leave the powder on and then like I said with when I highlight down here I'll do it with the powder too so it's like a cut sharp okay so I'm feeling we're gonna do pink today. I have I have two concealers that I absolutely love. One is the Fit Me by Maybelline one, just like the light one. But this was in Cafe. This is shade 30, and they also have the Revlon Photo Ready Insta Fix in shade Rich Ginger, uh, and this is 180. This one's a little bit darker, so. I'll, and this one's like more subtle so I think I'm gonna go with this one for today just because it's so what I do you can kind of tell that it's angled a little bit so what I do is just take that so and then I also learned I was watching one of Tarte's posts so one of their girls doing their makeup she said to, if you want to do your jawbone to take your cream contour or whatever and bring it back a little bit past your ear and forward. I'm not going to be too much. That way it's blended back too. Same side. 
I'm the, the second sign that said that. And then back down. What I do, I always follow my cheekbone to the side contour. So it's like that. And then for the nose, I just do a little bit in the middle and then on the front. Like so. And then just right here. I'll do just a little one there, and a little one there, just so it's even. You get my drift. Okay, so for this, I'm going to use a bigger blend beauty blender because, and then. Yes. I also have this e.l.f brush it's the contouring brush so I usually do this and you want to go up with your contour kind of like at an angle and then for your jaw you want to go kind of down at an angle And then for your forehead, you want to go back. And then for your nose, pretty simple. What I do is just go down and kind of like straight down and then kind of bring it down that way too. So straight down. And then down. Right down. And then down. And then the we're gonna go side to side and bring it down too. And I'm gonna clean this up because I messed up when I was putting on the cream contour. So how I'm gonna do that is I have this foundation sponge and I'm gonna take a little bit of the wet and wild. And then here one. All right, I'm gonna finish blending and I'll be back in just a second. Okay, we are contoured everything. So now I'm going to take the same little beauty blender, beauty blender dip it in the excess uh, face powder, setting powder, whatever you're gonna call it. Dab it just a little bit in there and then go like this. I'm feeling a sharp contour today. You start. I got this. I went on a whim and went to Mac because I was in Belk. Um, I used it for like a month or so straight. And this is Bear Study. I don't know if they have this. It's a paint pot. Um, they may or may not have anymore. 
But what I do, I just use this as a base sometimes, just a little shimmer. You can also wear it by, your, by itself if you're feeling... Um, I had something similar to this in high school when I'm swimming and my eyeshadow would not move and I would have practice at like six o'clock at night and it would not budge. Granted I was wearing goggles but you know. Let me put a little bit of this spray on here too. It's going to be I have two palettes I'm going to use. This one I've used a lot, as you can tell. This is the Ulta Revolution one. Oh, it's on the back. Okay. It's a Flawless 2 32 piece eyeshadow palette. It's Flawless 2. I think it's the Ulta brand. Revolution. Yeah, I think it is. Because I saw it at the checkout line. So I was like, ooh. And I also have... The BH Cosmetics Gal Galaxy Chic. These are so pretty. I've only used them a couple times, but they are so pretty. It's like all the planets. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna try to do a crazy look, but we will see how it turns out. Because your girl is not good at that. So we're gonna start with Okay, and the next color we're gonna use. We're gonna use this brush. This is from the Naked palette. If you have that, then you know what I'm talking about. We're gonna use in between Saturn and the Sun one. Let's do the Sun. That's what I'm feeling. Just gonna get in there. Pretty Oh, it's so gorgeous. Got a nice shimmer to it. I just hate that these lights are so daggone bright that y'all can't see exactly what I'm doing. Kind of see. Okay. And now the next one we're going to do is we're going to take um, the moon and oh, you can't see it. Hello. The moon and Pluto and mix those two together. And then I'm just going to do the outer corner just a little bit. Oh, Pluto is not like purple is very much. I 
D E I think purple. Okay, and then the next one. Hmm. We're going to take Aphrodite and a little bit of this kind of reddish copperish in color. And then Aphrodite is like a purpley red. This like shimmer champagne color right here. We kind of do it on top of everything so it gives like a nice like not wet looking but like a little more shiny. Yeah, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good, really pretty color. And now I have the e.l.f. eyeliner. I think it's waterproof or something like that. But it's the felt tip. And it works really good. I love this eyeliner. Half the time I do it like that, and then half the time I do it like this. Oh, not. I'm trying to get my scissors. Okay. Um, okay. So the next thing would be mascara. This is my all time favorite. I'm sure y'all have or have seen somebody use it. It's the Too Faced or Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. One of my favorites. It's an eyelash curler, of course. This is a brand new eyelash curler, and I was so used to my old one. This one feels so tight on my eyelashes. Okay. Take out your wand. 
always, this is my one tip. If you take nothing away, take this away. Scrape it off. Scrape that excess off, girl. Look how good it is. I love this mascara. I love it. Get a bottom lash in there. Yay! I think I see it. Here's our other. Okay. What do I do next? <laughs> it's kind of hard, like think what you want to do next, you know, or like what your routine is. Never mind chocolates. Okay. Where is it like the foundation on my head up there? Turn back in. And I put more time. So since I did kind of like a bold eye, um, I'm going to do a nude lip just so it balances each other out. This is L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade 354 Nudist. And while that dries, just grab one thing. That makes me a boo boo. So I first get a blush brush. Do your blush. And this is the Maybelline Master Contour Kit. I got this when I was learning how to do contour. I was like still practicing and all that stuff, so that just made it easier for me. And then I also have ooh, <laughs> uh, the Milani Highlighter in Sun Glow, shade 3. Favorite highlighter of all time. And I got this Luxie. Precision. This, I, this is a precision foundation, but I use it as a highlighter brush. Oh, it's so good. But anyway, oh, let me swatch this for you. Hang on. Okay. Oh, and I have another one somewhere. Anyway, but it's like a. golden one. I have one that's more white, so we're just going to do this one to lighten it. And there it goes. Yeah. 
Here it is. Should I curl my hair? But I don't feel like it. Here we are. 